Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel and the topic of this video is the shadow curve. Shadow curve is amazing because it allows you to figure out what kind of curve will be projected onto a plane that will allow for the outermost fibers of a object. So, for example, here we have this weird kind of shape that is a little bit strange and it's got these kind of tendrils on it and it's uh it's 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 odd and i'd like to know what it would take for it to uh go through an orifice in this magenta wall here i'd like to know how to create an outline as if i were looking straight down on it and how to take that outline and make a hole in this wall so what I do is I go to the shadow curve command. It's in the curve tab. And the very first thing I do is select a vector direction. The way I'm going to do that is to do a face normal. Here it is, I'm selecting on the face that I want this uh, shape, this odd shape to go through. Uh, then I go to the output and I make sure the output is on shadow on plane shadow on plane and i specify that plane and then i specify the body that i want to have the outline created from and i say okay so as you can see uh right now there is this light blue outline on the uh magenta plane and that outline is the outline that i would get from looking straight down on this shape so it's actually pretty simple uh, the very next thing I could do is go to the extrude command and go to connected curves and select one of the curves like that and uh, subtract it through the wall. There we go. Cool. And then uh, I'd like to test, make sure I can go through that wall. And in order to do that, I'm going to control T. Control T is a very good command, the move object command. I'm going to do a distance and I'm going to select this shape, select object. Okay, that object, and that's the object that I'm going to be moving. I'm going to specify a vector. Um, the vector can be uh, the result of uh, selecting this edge, let's say. Okay, and then I'm going to pull it through like this. As you can see, it goes through very nicely. You can kind of look at it that way. And no, that now goes through. And say okay. So now we know exactly what the shape is that you have to cut out that minimum shape to, there you go, to have a piece of geometry go right through another piece of geometry. If you wanted the absolute minimum um, profile, uh, what you would do is you would uh, create an axis for this shape and you would rotate it and you would do an optimization. You would project that 3D curve onto the surface do a measure, you'd uh, make a bounded plane, you'd measure the surface, and do an optimization. It would go through 360 degrees and you would find the smallest profile that would accommodate the shape. That'd be interesting. Uh, maybe we'll do that in another cast, but here you go. The shadow curve command is fantastic. It's another one of these things that's just in the curve section. NX has so many, such a rich offering of curves here there's every curve that you could imagine they're all very easy to use and what i really like about them when you go into the actual actual menu it's discoverable meaning there's always a preview you do whatever it takes in the menu and it shows you what it's going to do before you hit the apply button and i've always loved that about nx it's very discoverable it's very easy to learn and use However, NX has so much there, it's so rich in, in its offering that some people have enough time with it. But I would always like more choice and more things and more curves because there's always that time when you're trying to do something very complex and then NX actually has an option for you. Again, my name is Steve Samuel. This has been The Shadow Curve. Thank you very much for watching.